Hi, I'm Steph from Squash Point, and in this video I will give you some tips that will help you choosing the squash racket that suits your playing style. Choosing a squash racket can sometimes be quite difficult. With so many rackets to choose from and the many differences between them, it's not easy to make a choice. But once you know what to look for, choosing becomes a lot easier. In this video, I therefore explain step by step how to select the racket that fits your level and playing style. The three most important things that you have to look at are the racket throw shape, the weight and the balance point. First we will look at the racket throat shape. We have two different types of throat shapes, open throat and closed throat. Open throat, also called teardrop shape, and in those rackets the main strings run all the way down to the shaft and this allows the string bed to move more freely. These kinds of rackets are therefore more powerful and also come with a bigger sweet spot, which is the area of the string bed in which you can control the ball very well. Teardrop-shaped frames tend to be more forgiving as a result. Rackets with a big opening in the throat have shorter main strings and a more compact racket head as a result. These rackets offer better control but have a smaller sweet spot and it is therefore important that you are able to hit the ball correctly all the time in order to benefit from the extra position that those close throws rackets provide you. The second point that you need to think about is frame weight. I can really recommend players of all levels to choose a racket that is made entirely from graphite. The frame weight of these rackets is normally somewhere between 110 and 150 grams. In general, the weight that is stated on the frame is only the weight of the frame and the actual weight of the racket therefore is a bit higher. You should include as well the grip, the strings and the bumper to get the weight of the of the racket. A light racket is more agile and therefore suitable for offensive play. You can react faster and attack the ball. The slightly heavier frames are more suitable for players with a traditional playing style, with a slower swing. The third point that you should look at is the balance of the frame. The balance indicates how the weight is distributed over the racket. Rackets can be head light, evenly balanced or head heavy. A head light frame has most ways located in the bottom of the racket, and which makes them very easy to maneuver. Volleying the ball is simple and also playing flick shots, changing the direction of your shot at the very last moment is easy. A disadvantage of head light rackets is that they can be a bit harder to control at speed. With a head heavy racket, where most weight is in the top of the frame, um, you have more weight behind the ball and Therefore, you can hit hard more easily. You also have more control over your strokes because you feel the racket head better. So I hope that these tips will help you choosing the right racket. If you have any further questions, feel free to contact us. Have fun on court, guys!